Ruth was born on September 1st, 1942, to Willie and Deary Suggs. She was a sickly child, and doctors told her parents that she may not live to see two years of age. But Ruth's soul sang, Oh, no, not I. I will survive. Just as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. Because I've got all my life to live, and I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ruth was raised in a loving family filled with extended family and friends, and her church family. The family had its ups and downs and gains and losses like any other family, but always held on to each other. One of the most challenging times that Ruth faced was her high school graduation night. At the end of the graduation party, a young man that Ruth formerly was dating tried to force his way onto her. When she refused, he beat her unconscious. Bedridden for days, some thought that Ruth's lights would be put out. Even in her unconscious state, her soul sang out. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now while she slept and healed, Ruth's gangster mama Deary and her gangster sister Ada May visited the perpetrator's home with broom handles and they put his lights out in front of his family who watched and did nothing to stop the beatdown. Hashtag, knuck if you buck. Ain't no playing GA. Attending and graduating from Clark Atlanta College, Ruth picked up her marching shoes and participated in numerous civil rights marches where her soul sang, We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Now, Ruth's marching impacted the family. Her mother was fired from jobs after managers found out that Ruth was marching. During one march in Atlanta, a Caucasian woman spit on Ruth and punched Ruth in the face. After Ruth returned the favor, punched that woman in that woman's face and was whisked away and taken to a waiting cab. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr and the march coordinators met with a visibly shaken Ruth and advised that she'll need to leave today and find another way to fight for civil rights. Ruth's associate minister was the first black person to be taking classes at Columbia Theological Seminary in Decatur, Georgia. The associate minister encouraged Ruth to apply to Columbia to further her activism and to further her education. Ruth applied, was accepted, and attended. While in Columbia Theological Seminary, professors walked out of her classes. Male students taunted her, and others spat in front of her as she walked to class. Ruth became friends with some of the other female students who were breaking the gender barriers, although some of her female peers didn't appreciate or support Ruth, who was breaking both gender and racial barriers. While enduring this hell, Ruth's soul sang, When my cross is heavy, I shall not be moved. When my cross is heavy, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree planted by the water, I shall not be moved. It was during this difficult walk that Ruth was introduced to her husband of 43 years, 
Sam Varner. Sam noted that while Ruth was facing that dark, cloudy days, he saw something different. Because Sam's soul sang, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. Well, I guess you say, what can make me feel this way, Ruth? Ruth and Sam traveled the world and blessed all around them. Their union survived financial challenges, unemployment, sickness, and a miscarriage, and was also blessed with two sons, Seiko Benjamin and Daniel. Ruth and Sam embarked on a journey to make sure that black children were adopted into loving homes, and they adopted their daughter Elizabeth. Ruth and Sam led their families and the community into being more beautiful and more beneficial than the community inherited it. Thirteen years ago, Sam's soul sang, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. Seven days ago, Ruth's soul sang out, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. Sam was born on October and became an ancestor in September. Ruth was born in September and joined the ancestry on October 17th, 2022, two days before Sam's birthday. And while we have no proof, I'm sure that Ruth and Sam's souls are both singing, reunited and it feels so good. Reunited cause we understood There's one perfect fit And sugar, this one is it We both are so excited Cause we're reunited Hey, hey Put 
your hands in the air If you love your mama Hey Wave your hands in the air If you love your mama Hey Everybody cross the world If you love your mama Hey Wave your hands in the air If you love your mama Hey Your mama My mama Your mama Hey Your mama My mama I love my mama Put your hands in the air If you love your mama, hey. 